Hi, Tony Steve Vondren. We're back and we are talking about torrent defense in this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's head to the Attorney Steve litigation whiteboard. Okay, so I have two letters up on my screen DJ. Does anybody know what that stands for? You probably read the title Default or <laughs> Declaratory Judgment. I can't even, I didn't even know myself. Declaratory judgment. Okay, so what's that? This could be a very valuable tool for you if you're involved in a civil litigation with one of these um, trolling companies, one of these video companies. We have all kinds of companies looking to get you for file sharing and to get you know a bunch of money for illegal movies. So if you're facing one of these actions, this could be really important, but the defense really only helps and it's not really a defense, I'm talking about a countersuit that was filed in the Northern District of California, that's up in the Bay Area, and this case deals with Judge Alsap, who told Malibu Media, this looks like a gimmick, it sounds like a gimmick to me, so let's talk about it. So we have our typical trolling case, let's just call it a copyright infringement, and I just call it trolling, I'm just using that words because other judges will tend to use it from time to time. But it's these plaintiffs that say, you violated our copyrights, we want to get paid. So they file a lawsuit and they file it against a Doe defendant. And a Doe defendant is really just a fictitious name. It means we don't know who the true identity of the person is, we just know the IP address of the subscriber, okay? So this is an IP address sued as a Doe. So you may see a complaint. And in fact, I'm gonna read it here for you. This one is, um, this one deals with a complaint entitled, if I can just get there, got my handy reference sheet down here. All right, this one is Malibu Media versus John Doe subscriber assigned IP address number 76.126.99.126. So they're sued as an IP address. The plaintiff does not know the identity of the person at this stage, but they file the lawsuit suing the Doe defendant, okay? So at this point, you usually, there's an IS, there's a, it goes down to your, your ISP, there's a subpoena, they're trying to get your name so that they can get some leverage on you to come and sue you if they need to. I mean, they've already sued you, but they're looking to possibly amend the complaint and put your name in the place of where it says John Doe, okay? So they may, if you're Susie Q, they're gonna take out, they're gonna amend the complaint and add Susie Q as a defendant. So this gets real important. And we have these cases where defendants say, I did not download this movie. I, you can come check my computers. You can do a forensic examination of my laptops, my servers. I did not download any of these movies, especially porn movies like Flavorworks or Strike Three Holdings, Malibu Media. These are prolific um, companies that will come after you. They file suits. They do file a lot of lawsuits, and they're going to be seeking these, these damages. So one defense that you have, and this came up in San Francisco, up in the Northern District, in Judge Alsap's court, and this was a Malibu Media case where they sued the John Doe. They came back, the John Doe came back and filed a declare, they filed their answer. Okay, so you got to file your answer to the complaint. But they came back and they filed a countersuit for declaratory judgments, asking the court to declare that I am not an infringer. Now, Malibu Media didn't like this at all. They said, what are you doing? You, you're suing us? You know, we're Malibu Media. We're the, we're the big kid on the block here. And they came in and they filed a motion to dismiss, MTD, a motion to dismiss under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. That's under Rule 12, if you're looking for that. So they came back and said, you can't file that declaratory judgment action. Let's just put that over here, the DJ. And they said, you can't do that. And they sought to dismiss the declaratory judgment. Judge Alsep said, sorry, pal. They get to allege that if they want. If they're claiming they didn't infringe the copyright, they have every right to allege a declaratory judgment. Why is that? Well, because if you get down here and the defendant finds out and they go, wow, you know what? It really wasn't Susie Q. She actually didn't download the pornography at all. It wasn't her. It was somebody else they may want to dismiss their complaint. Well, Susie Q, who's been claiming all along, I didn't download anything. I'm just, you know, I'm a housewife here. I'm not, I'm not, you know, looking for these kinds of movies. 
Now, if they dismiss the complaint, in theory, that would dismiss the lawsuit and, you know, there may not be a claim for attorney fees for the defendant. So the, def the, the declaratory judgment action is a way for the defendant who's been protesting their innocence the whole time to say, all right, you, go you want to go to court? You want to pressure me, bully me, fight me for big dollars in the settlement? I'm filing declaratory judgment. If you dismiss your case, I'm going to continue to pursue my counterclaim. That's the hidden magic of a declaratory judgment action, is that you now have a lawsuit. You can come to the court and you can say, you know what, this was BS. I had to pay a lot of money, a lot of attorney fees. I had to fight these guys, a lot of stress. I didn't do it. Now, judge, I want my attorney fees. So this can be a very valuable tool in the right case. And I'm not saying every case run, up, run out and file these needs to be bona fide. You actually have to really feel confident, you know, that you're not going to have a forensic, you know, that, you know, in other words, as I say, you're not going to get weak in the knees if a forensic examiner comes and looks at your computers and laptops. You're not going to go, well, you know, it kind of, you know, it's so if you need some help in a torrent case, we can help you understand the declaratory judgment. This is general legal information only and not legal advice, but something that you should know if you're involved in, in this kind of area. And it is something that can be brought up in the right case. So if you need more information, find me on the web at attorneysteve.com. I got to get running. I got to get out of this suit and I got to get down and get the barbecue fired up. So I hope you all are having a great week. We'll chat again. Attorney Steve, take care. Bye now.